Hello, everybody. Okay, so first off, I, well, I mean, I'm usually not decked out, but I might seem less than right now. We're going to be going to the pool, and you know where you're like, okay, do I get dressed? And anyway, I just, I had a lot of thoughts going on. And all that's to say, I was like, if I keep procrastinating on filming the podcast, it's going to be like, 11 at night and I probably won't post this till 11 at night because it, it takes a not a huge amount of editing as you can tell oh and by the way welcome <laughs> from chaos the country this is episode 19 I think on Juneteenth perfect look at that happy freedom day um I think it's 19 not sure anyway all this to say is, I had a conversation the other day with my friend Jim. Uh, he's, uh, he, I was coaching him, and he's be throughout the years he's become my friend. He's just a great guy, and uh, so is this girl, um, Jen. It's not this girl, you know what I'm saying? Like she's a woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna have a cup of coffee while I did this podcast, and I was like, that's just, you've already had a cup, you're gonna have another cup, but it feels like I should just, you know. Uh, I'm downstairs, the kids are in the other room, they're watching videos, I was like, let me just go in and make the podcast, and then do my next indicated action, which I, it's gonna be make lunch, then we're gonna go to the pool. A lot of things are going on internally. Um, we just happy Father's Day to all the dads. Uh, our Father's Day was spent at urgent care. Well, not the whole day, just the morning, because Chris has been sick, very sick. He's much better today. He finally got sleep after like five or six days of no sleep. His cough, everything. Um, I was really very worried about him. Uh, I think I worry about everybody. <sighs> Anyway, my friend Jim called, and he was reading my newsletter, and he's my first Patreon subscriber. Uh, you guys, I have a Patreon. Uh, it's free, and you can also subscribe for $3 a month, and uh, that reminds me, I'm like, I've got to put up my Patreon content. Yay! Um, I get to do that. Isn't that great? Well, he called me because he's like, Ro, uh, I read about the ADD thing that you said. Now, I say I have ADD all the time. I haven't been diagnosed. I will I will seek out to get a diagnosis um, uh, at some point. I don't even know how to go about doing that. So if anybody, I mean, Jim gave me some really great resources, but I'm like, do I uh, see a psychiatrist? I don't know. Anyway, he gave me great tools to start. So I think I'm just going to start with what he gave me because so far I'm, it's been like, you know, um, he recommended a, a doctor. Oh, I'll find the name. I've been listening to the first podcast he sent, and now the second one. Uh, he wrote a book called Driven to Distraction, very famous book. He wrote it in '94 and about ADD. And I love what he says about it. He says it's called a deficient d deficit, and he's like, it's not a deficit. It's, um, we don't have a deficit of attention. We have an abundance of attention and oh my god oh oof, I'm gonna cry if I think about it the, he said you have a Ferrari brain with bicycle brakes and if I tell you that I think of ideas like all the time then when I try to execute those ideas completely overwhelmed or just tasks overwhelm me um, the one thing that I've been absolutely consistent with except for this particular six months because of the move and everything, stand up. It's, it's interesting because now that I think about it, when I bounced, like when I did my first show, which was 25 years ago, September 23rd, 1999, September 23rd of 2024 will mark my 25th year, which I find incredible. In fact, I'm gonna do a little 25 years, 25 things tribute to it because, um, immediately when I got on stage, immediately when I got off of stage, I was like, I just found what I was supposed to do with my life. And if I tell you I dove in, 
I was 21, of course, had a lot of energy, um, and uh, living the single fun life, you know. I mean, I had drama with some, a dude, but you get what I'm saying. Like, when I was, I drama with dudes was the norm when you're in your 20s, right? That being said, uh, I dove in. And I, I had a day job, so I always did everything, like, really like I was there um, with the restaurant jobs I had I always moved up quickly because I just you can count on me right I was good at if you gave me a lot of tasks to do at once I could do them because I knew what I had to do so like being slammed behind the bar was that a fruit fly there's fruit flies god damn these fruit I think it just dived off my head what the okay I'm saying being slammed behind the bar was e it was easy for me. I thrived in that because I knew I had all these tasks to do and I was going to get them done. But it was like, boom, I'm doing this, boom, I'm doing that, boom, I'm doing that. Like almost like my brain went into auto drive, right? Being on stage, once I got the hang of it, it was like, okay, assess the audience in a second. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going to go. Did that hit? No, let's move on to this one. So all the things that I've gone after have always worked well with my ADD. And I think now... I think why I'm really noticing this and having a hard time with this is because I'm in a new environment that's much quieter. Like LA, in a way, if you can manage your ADD, is it's chaotic. That's why it was like chaos to country. Like it was chaotic. But it almost like you were so used to the chaos and your brain had, to, and I had such a schedule. Like I had my students I met, I had my students I did Zoom with, I had the kids schedule, I knew where to go, I knew, you know, da 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 da. I was earning a lot more. Um, that didn't trigger my DA dis ease. So, and you know, our bills were a little lower, even though we were in a higher, high priced area. Sherman Oaks was just expensive, but still we had like, our rent was $1,500 in a rent control department. I know, but I'm saying like, we didn't have all the debt that we had for moving. So our lives got bigger, our debt got a little bigger, our bills got a little bigger, but that's not forever, you know. But my work isn't as much because my, like, it's almost like my, my exhaustion caught up with me. And now I've been trying to figure it out, like figure out how to make money, figure out how to make money. I can't enjoy this until I figure out how to make money. But when I heard all that stuff about ADD, I'm like, oh, no wonder my brain is going at a million miles a minute. So for example, I don't know about you guys, but I always think of like side hustles and I thought oh I should sell stuff on Macari or whatnot whatnot does lives so I was like oh and then the minute that they say if you want to sell you have to schedule a live to see and ask questions and I was like oh. <laughs> commitment <laughs> um, so I took out all my jewelry it's all here I won't even show you it's a mess but I realized, I was like, oh, my whole workspace is like that of an ADD person. So, now that I've discovered that there are tools to work with to kind of manage it, and again, I, um, this doctor was great, he suggested a coach, which eventually maybe I can get a coach for my ADD, but in the meantime, how can I work it with what I've got, right? Um, I could read the book. Um, I can listen to more and learn more about ADD. I can schedule doable tasks, which I already started to do. Um, I'm going to practice being in the moment because usually, like, uh, just everything with the kids. Like, if I can, we've been doing a couple of different activities a day, like the library and the pool. Today was a little more mellow. But just being in the moment, that's what I'm going to start working on. And working on getting right inside first. That's inside. First, I've got to work on the inside and being in the moment. So that's my tasks for today and for the rest of this week, along with other things, but you know. All right, more on it next week. Bye.